Hello everyone and welcome to my first six days of Inktober. Uh, the first prompt was ring and I had a few ideas. The first one was about the movie ring. I wanted to draw a well because you know it has a shape, a round shape like a ring. Um, but it didn't really go anywhere so I you know scratched that idea and then the second one was you know a phone basically ring. <laughs> So, yeah, I've decided to draw this, like, old-looking phone and this girl's waiting for an important call. Um, yeah, like, uh, I remember these phones because my grandma used to have, you know, quite a few of them. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I remember the one where you have to, like, push the circle around to dial a number. It's pretty cool. Um... But yeah, there's, you know, not, nothing more to the story, basically just, you know, girls waiting for a call. <laughs> and I've, I've got a sketchbook from my sisters for my birthday, and I thought I wanted to use it for something special, so I've dedicated it to Inktober. And it's not gonna be filled up after Inktober, because there's more pages than days, but I don't, know, I don't know if I'll leave it for next year, or if I'll just draw it, you know casually I don't know I'll see um yeah and it's a big sketchbook it's A4 so my drawings are a bit bigger I usually draw in like small A6 uh, sketchbooks for October but yeah this one's the biggest so far and I actually don't remember if it's my third or fourth year drawing for October I don't remember anymore so yeah it's my third or fourth <laughs> um for the next, for the second uh, uh, prompt, mindless. I, yeah, it took me a long time to figure out what I wanted to draw. Cause uh, what when I thought of the word mindless, I only could imagine, you know, how you feel after you've been, you know, mindless for a while. Basically, if if you've been in a situation where you, you know, you forget yourself, like you don't think, you don't about your emotions about your actions you know like if you are so stressed out that you know you don't consider how it may affect you and then you know after that period is over you uh, basically wake up like you know you're conscious again and you realize how you know everything's slipping from your fingers because you didn't you know give enough attention to everything so yeah that's that's the mindless that i thought of so yeah, I was a bit scared to draw it because, I don't know, like my fiancé told me that he never understands the ideas behind my drawings, so hopefully someone understood it at least, but yeah, I've just tried to explain, you know, I, I, I've tried to show what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, and it's the biggest drawing so far because I've basically filled up, f filled up the whole paper, the whole page, so yeah. It was pretty difficult, but I really enjoyed it because you yeah, have never done such a big drawing for October before. It, actually, I've never done such a big drawing in pen before, in total. Um, not in total, completely. Because I usually work in watercolors or like acrylic or something, like in pencil even. But with, you know, something that you can work more on and like fix if something's wrong or you know and with black ink it's basically you know what you've done is there like you can't fix it so so this was a bit challenging that yeah well i suppose this is all a challenge you know october challenge that's the point of it so yeah <laughs> for the third one bait i had like i don't know i had some difficulties again but because I couldn't think of anything like uh, I didn't want to draw just you know bait for a fish like fishing and um, I thought how you know maybe makeup could be bait but then I thought you know I don't know it's not interesting enough maybe and uh, I looked up on google like on urban dictionaries or something that bait can be called like a beautiful woman or like a handsome man so yeah I've just tried to draw like a barbie basically 
because well obviously it's not a realistic woman like yeah I've never drawn lips so big <laughs> and nose so small as well like but it was pretty interesting like I like doing the background more um yeah I didn't really know what to do with that girl because I didn't want to do too many things and make her look more realistic because then you know it loses the point of her being a Barbie but yeah <laughs> then I got a bit else so yeah the next few the next three will be in basically me in, in drawing in bed so yeah not you know the perfect um conditions I suppose um, yeah, I had to, like, I, I filmed with my phone and I had to use my phone's tripod, which is not the best as well. But, you know, I made it work. And, yeah, this the prompt was uh, accurate for me as well, because, you know, as I was ill, I was, you know, cold, get, yeah, shivering all the time, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I d didn't really enjoy this one, I, did, I didn't like the outcome, but... I couldn't think of anything else and I wasn't feeling well, so... Yeah, then the next one... Build. Yeah, as soon as I thought of uh, the word build, I couldn't remember how I used to uh, play with Legos at my aunt's house and, like, build, like, lots of houses and cars and everything. So that, yeah, that's what, where my mind went. And I wanted to show that. Um... And also, I wanted to show that the Le little Lego Lego man is also building something. There's like these little round um, parts that can, you know, small smaller parts that he's using. So yeah. Um. Yeah, cause that's cool, you know, to think how we build something like, you know, someone c created us. I'm I'm not really like religious, but like someone built us basically, and we build something else like I don't know does it make sense I don't know maybe not but I thought it would be cool <laughs> and this is the last one husky so I thought that you know I shouldn't draw just draw just a dog because that's the most obvious you know idea so I looked up what does the word mean and it came up with strong and big like a big and strong man so I decided to draw a man who considers himself, you know, the most, like, important person, like, you know, like a king, like, a, you know, a big man and strong and everything. But in reality, you'll see when I draw later the frames on the wall that he is actually just a regular man and he's just, you know, imagining that he's this king with all these clothes and the crown and, you know. But I have been reading Game of Thrones lately, so this is a bit inspired. <laughs> um, yeah, I like this one because, uh, like, um, I feel like the was it the third one, the f freeze one? No, it was the fourth one. The fourth one I was really disappointed with, so I thought, you know, that I'm not gonna go back, you know, to like in this challenge again. But this one made me like it again, so. I'm happy about that. And that's it so far. I've done six so far and, and I'm gonna do um the whole week for n next Thursday and yeah and so on. So I hope you enjoy these videos and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.